Hey, what's up everybody? Um, so, Organite Test is beginning with Dave from the Organized Earth, my friend out in Cali. If you haven't seen his stuff, you should definitely check it out. Um, he makes amazing pieces. Um, so what we're gonna be doing together is essentially um, a, a plant test using sunflower seeds that I sent him with the same gene stock. Uh, we're gonna plant six here in this corner, and this is gonna be the corner that is going to get the selenite tower buster so that uh, the organite is technically influencing those plants so we can see whether or not they're going to be um, affected by the organite or not and then in the other corner here is going to be the control so we're going to have six seeds here with no organite and we will see what happens we'll be documenting as we go along and uh, I'm pretty excited right in here and the plants are doing really well um, so what I did I actually just measured um, right here to the sort of the end point of where the stalk is growing hey guys uh, quick plant test update for our organite control and the organite sample um, so right now we are looking at the control side um, I just measured these plants and we are right at 11 inches I believe on this one and then uh, this one is at 10 and then if we go over to the organite sample side um, this one right now is at uh, 12 inches and this one is at 11 and a half so they're still um, in the lead currently and even though our uh, control sample is not getting as much Sun so it's very interesting so far um, Dave from the Organized Earth, uh, we're not really sure what happened, but his his poor sunflower seeds didn't quite make it. So now it's uh, it's up to me to continue the rest of the test, and I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, as far as hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, quick plant test update. It is uh, the 15th of May, and I just did a measurement on our organite sample plants here, and the tallest of the two is right at 17 inches. And then the, the little, the smaller guy here um, is right at 14 and a half. Over on our control side, these two are actually right at 13. So the organite sample is still in the lead. Um, at this point, I feel like it's pretty clear that the organite's doing something, but again, trying to be as fair as possible. Remember that the, um, the control side is actually getting more sun as the sun is passing from this point and goes this way throughout the day so um, it's just kind of telling to me that some other element is at play obviously um, anyway as far as the rest hey what's going on everybody plant test update today it is the 22nd of May and uh, it's been about a week since our last update some flowers are doing really well I'll give you guys a, a little preview of the rest of the garden too it's starting to take off um, anyway last week I want to say that uh, sunflowers in the organite sample side were right at I think 17 and 18 inches and the control side I want to say one of them was at uh, 16 and a half and maybe 17 I'd have to go back and look at my story highlight all that being said uh, this week the strongest of the two in the organite sample side is right at uh, it's like 24 camera won't focus it's right at 24 inches and the uh, the smaller of the two is right at 21 and a half almost 22 uh, coming over to the control side we are right at all right so the control sample side uh, with the sunflowers we are right at it's right at 20 and a half inches and we are also on the second plant, so right at 20. <laughs> the organite, I mean, at this point, again, I've said it over and over, but I think it's pretty evident that the organite is uh, influencing the plant growth. It's pretty obvious to me. And again, these are getting more sun. Um, hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Friday, plant test update time. It is May the 29th. Um, so we're doing the plant test with Dave from the Organized Earth and we've been tracking to see how the plants are doing. 
Um, so organite sample side, you are looking at the healthiest of all of the sunflowers. This plant is currently right at, we're going to say 33 inches. And then the other sunflower here we've got, it's going to be right at, and my camera won't focus, 31. And I'll give you guys the, uh, the control side here in just a second. All right, guys, so this is the uh, control side for our plant test that we're doing with Dave from the Organized Earth. Um, so the control plants, both of, I just measured both of them. They're both right at 27 and a half. And uh, something interesting that I've noticed probably over the course of the last couple of weeks is that the control side where there is no organite, I've noticed it's been getting, uh, getting sorry, been getting eaten a lot more. Um, you can see some of the foliage here has just kind of been racked with whatever bug has been munching on it. On the other hand, and bear in mind, this is in the same raised bed, so there's not really much of a difference. We're talking eight feet apart. Um, but you'll notice on the organite side that the leaves look much healthier and they're not being eaten as much. So the, the organite side, obviously the plants, you know, they, they just, A, they look healthier, but B, they don't seem to be... Um, succumbing to the same issue with the bugs eating them as the control side has and i'm just kind of giving you an overview obviously you're going to have a little bit here's a nice one you know it, it did get eaten but overall you can just tell the difference between you know these are just getting i mean completely gnawed up and these are not really so it's just it's very telling to me also you can see that it, the camera is hard. It's hard to capture it, but you might. Hey, what's going on, guys? Plant test update for this week. It is June 7th. I'm a couple of days late. We were out of town, but I'm going to make this short and sweet because it is hot outside this weekend. 94, I think, for the high. Um, anyway, we're doing the plant test with Dave from the Organized Earth. And what we are currently looking at here is the organite sample side, which has been by far doing better, even with less sunlight, um, you know, given that the control side is getting more sunlight during the morning time. All that being said, we're looking at the healthiest plant here. It is right at, we'll say 46 and a half, if my camera would focus, always having trouble there. 46 and a half inches to the kind of the, the, the end point of the stalk there. Um, you're also the next plant we're looking at is the second plant in the organite sample side. It is right at 44 inches roundabouts. Wind's picking up a little bit, so getting a fully accurate measurement's a little tricky. Uh, suffice it to say, they are still taller than the control sample side, and I'll show you guys that here in just a second. All right, so we are now looking at the control sample side. The healthiest plant in the control sample side, you're looking at right at 41 and a half. And then the second plant here, if I can get a good measure, and then the second plant here in the control side, you're looking right at, would say 39, I'll say 39 and a half, just to give it that little extra boost. Um, but either way you look at it, the organized sample side's still doing better, and I don't see any reason why that is probably gonna change at all. I'm gonna continue doing this update until we actually get our first uh, full sunflower. Um, at some point, I imagine I'll probably have to quit measuring just because they're gonna be so tall, but we will obviously get the point at that time that they're gonna beautiful skies the last couple days clear no spraying and that was that was after they went nuts for a few days just totally whited us out insane and uh, all I can do is hope that other people can see the contrast <laughs> notice that something is off so right here this is uh, these are our pole beans they're taken off there's organite in the middle there's a selenite tower buster this is where we tried to do our uh, organite plant test with sunflowers but the sunflowers didn't work out something happened so we replaced them with pole beans but it's interesting because in the organized plot here they're just going crazy and over here in the control sample they haven't really done much you could see one coming up over there but but uh, yeah the organized one is for some reason a lot stronger I wonder what that would be but, uh, yeah our plants doing well We've got the potatoes I'm gonna check on them after they flower um, the squash is going crazy
Hey, what's up everybody? I uh, wanted to give you a plant test update since it has been like three weeks and you know I was out there for a little bit due to glitching on the app. So I wanted to give you a plant test update before it starts raining. And this is probably the last um, plant test update because pretty much all of the sunflowers have finally um, flowered. And as you can see, this is the Organite sample side and I know the camera doesn't really do it justice we got a nice little bee friend there um, so this is the largest plant that flowered on the sample side uh, I measured it yesterday and it was right at seven feet you can probably hear the thunder there in the background we're about to get some rain um, this was the other sunflower that um, was on the sample side it made it to six feet I measured the other two let me see if I can step over here and then for the control sample side, uh, the tallest of the two plants here measured in right at five feet, eight inches. And then the shortest one was right at five feet. So clearly you can see from this test, I mean, it's pretty evident to me that Oregon is definitely doing something to promote positive growth in plants. Um, you've seen water tests if you follow Dave. I mean, at this point it should be abundantly clear, but um, I think it's been really eye-opening and really interesting to do the test like this so that we get to you know actually see it in action um, I'll probably do another test here in the future just so that we can prove out again that it works and that it does something but if you haven't purchased from Dave you should hey what's going on everybody I hope you're all doing well and that you're staying safe um, in this nonsense that we are currently experiencing um, I wanted to share something though with you guys today. I was um, kind of cleaning up the garden. Things are sort of, you know, dying off and uh, leaving room for the squash and all that kind of stuff. And so I pulled up the uh, the largest sunflower from our plant test. It's already dead, and I've harvested the um, the flowers so that I can get the seeds out of them. And uh, they were starting to get munched on by squirrels, so I went ahead and cut the flowers off. All that being said, I decided to go ahead and pull this stem because it's not doing anything in the garden anymore. And I found this to be really interesting. So you've got the root system here, as you can see. But if you look, you've got this long root offshoot. And whenever I pulled it out of the garden, this is where the selenite tower buster was. Um, so I find that to be really interesting. But yeah, so I find that really interesting because if you're looking at the entire root system, you can see that this is really the only odd offshoot from the entire root system. Now again, it could be just random, complete coincidence, but I do find it interesting that the selenite tower buster, literally it was right here, so the root was growing underneath that. And part of me wonders if that's not the reason that this flower did so well in comparison to even the other um, sunflower that was in our um, sample side um, because this plant was closest to the selenite tower buster anyway I thought you guys might find that interesting um, to me it's just yet another testimonial of Oregon and what it can do especially for plant life but think about what it could do for your own life having that stuff around um, anyway if you haven't checked out Dave's stuff I, I really do recommend you do it thank you Austin for sharing your organite plant test out in Arkansas and back here in California I just wanted to wrap up my test so this is where I originally planted sunflowers as well along with the selenite tower buster the same device that Austin used and um, this was my control plot over here now both plots failed I don't know what I did wrong but my sunflowers failed so what I did then was I planted pole beans here and left the selenite tower buster in there and the results of my test are this amazing pole bean yields uh, these green beans are so delicious um, Sarah's super pumped because she loves green beans and we've just been getting some crazy yields from this organized plant and uh, also some amazing tomatillos which are really delicious and here is our control plot as you can see the beans are growing but at nowhere near the the rate or pace uh, that our organized sample showed so that's our test <laughs> 